For years we have been taught and believed that Adam and Eve, our first parents in the Garden of Eden, ate an apple from the tree in the midst of the garden. And through this act of disobedience the whole world plunged into sin. Why should it be an apple when apples were never mentioned in the Word of God in reference to the Garden of Eden, although the Bible speaks that they were not to eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, but never can we find in the entire scriptures that it was an apple that have caused our transgressions and fall. It will be difficult some to believe this, but it was sex or with the serpent that caused the fall of Eve and Adam, through which sin came into the word and brought each of us under this curse. Here is what really happened in the Garden of Eden. The Bible says that Eve was beguiled by the serpent. She was actually seduced by the serpent. Satan took advantage of the serpent's physical characteristics to use him to beguile Eve. Remember that it was Lucifer's ambition to build himself a greater kingdom than Michael did in heaven before he was kicked out on earth and still, he wanted to pursue his evil plan in this world after that. And the only way for Satan to accomplish what he wanted to do was to enter the serpent in Eden, even as he entered by evil spirits into the swine at Gadara. Satan could not have a child directly by Eve as did God by Mary, so he entered into the serpent and then beguiled Eve. He seduced her and by her did Satan have a child vicariously, Cain, the seed of the serpent, who bore the full spiritual characteristics of Satan and the animalistic, sensual, fleshly characteristic of the serpent, and a murderer too. It says in Genesis 3 verse 1, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. This beast was so close to a human being and yet was pure animal, but he could reason and talk. He was close to a man. He was almost man. He was an upright creature and was somewhat in between a chimpanzee and a man, but closer to a man. He was so close to being human that his seed could and did mingle with that of the woman and cause her to conceive. Before Adam ever had a carnal knowledge of Eve, the serpent had that knowledge ahead of him, and that one born of it was Cain. Cain was of that wicked one, according to 1 John 3:12. Notice what God said to the serpent in the garden, Genesis 3 verse 15, And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed, it shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. If we give credit to the word that the woman did have a seed, then the serpent must have surely had a seed also. If the seed of the woman was a man-child apart from the man, then the seed of the serpent will have to be in the same pattern, and that is another male must be born apart from human, male instrumentality. As the seed of the woman was literally God reproducing himself in human flesh through Mary. So the seed of the serpent is the literal way that Satan found he was able to open the door to himself into the human race. It was impossible for Satan, for he is only a created spirit being to reproduce himself in the manner which God reproduced himself. So the Genesis account tells how he produced his seed and introduced or injected himself into the human race. When this illicit act happened between Eve and the serpent, God cursed the serpent. He changed every bone in the serpent's body so that he had to crawl like a snake. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and dust shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. Science can try all it wants to, and to won't find the missing link between man and animal. God saw to that. Man is smart and he can see an association of man with animal and he tries to prove it out of evolution. There isn't any evolution. But man and animal did mingle. That's one of the mysteries of God that has remained hidden, but here it's as revealed. It happened right back there in the midst of Eden when Eve turned away from life to accept death immediately after eating the fruit. Remember that we are the fruits of our mother and father. They quickly knew that they were naked. And they hid themselves from God and made aprons of fig leaves to cover their nakedness. General 3, 7 to 7. Surely this must speak to our understanding that it was sex and not eating apples, or else Adam and Eve could have made aprons for their mouth rather, covering their private parts. Also, take note that after this affair, God did not curse Eve by punishing her with more apples to eat, but said, Unto the woman he said, I will multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. General 3.16 this tremendous act has brought forth the advent for man's sexual reproduction, which was never God's original plan, because God just speaks his children into existence, and they come forth out of the dust just like the way he created the first man, Adam. The fruit or result of Eve being sexually known by the serpent and Adam was that she conceived both Cain and Abel. 
The truth of the matter is that Eve had in her womb two sons, twins, from separate impregnations. She was carrying twins with Cain's conception sometime previous to that of Abel's. To those who think that this is not possible, let it be known that the medical records are repeated with cases where women have carried twins who were of separate ova and separate insemination with the fertilization of the eggs being days apart, and not only so, but some of the records show that the twins were fathered by separate males. Recently, worldwide coverage was given to a Norwegian mother who was suing her husband for support for herself and her twins, one of which was white, and the other, black. She admitted that she had a Negro over. The two conceptions were about three weeks apart. In Beaumont, Texas, in 1963, the records again set forth a multiple birth, wherein pregnancies were many days apart, in fact so much so that the woman almost died along with one child in childbirth. It is amazing that Jude 14 records that Enoch was the seventh from Adam, which confirms that Cain was really not the son of Adam, but the son of the serpent. The genealogies of Adam was on this wise, 1 Adam, 2 Seth, 3 Enos, 4 Canaan, 5 Mahalil, 6 Jared, 7 Enoch. Notice that Cain was never mentioned in the list of the Bible as a son of Adam, and Abel, of course, was no longer mentioned because he was murdered by Cain and did not have any descendant. The seeds of the serpent are still alive today. They are the ones that won't obey the word of God. Like, share, and subscribe.